Okay, fourth grade. So, we have made our drawings following all the directions that I gave in class. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put your, make sure your name is on the back of every single one before you start. Before you do anything, write your name. And that's actually what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna write Miss Crocker on the back. And then you are going to write your class code. So if you're in 1B, you're gonna write that. If you're in 4F, you're gonna write that. Whatever your code is. I'm just gonna write Miss Crocker. You want to make sure you do this first because you can't do it. If you forget now, you can't do it later. All right. I've got my name on the back of each of my prints, okay? So now what you're gonna get is you're going to get a Ziploc bag. Now there's this little corner piece and if you feel the one side, you can like feel the ink of that white piece. You wanna make sure that that is on the back side. We want just the clear plastic part of the bag. So kind of feel, and you can feel there's a difference in texture. One, like the plastic part's real smooth and this is just got a slight difference to it. So I'm gonna flip it over because this is the back side for me. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use Crayola markers or any of the markers from my cart. It won't work with Sharpies or with permanent markers, but it will work with anything water-based, which are pretty much everything else. So I'm gonna take my markers and I'm gonna make put down some colors. You can do splotches of colors, like I've done in this print, where I just did like splotches, or you can do like, kind of try to do designs. You can do rainbow like I did in this one. It's up to you. You'll be doing a couple of them so you can experiment and try different stuff. This one I'm just gonna do like splotches of color. And you wanna try to color as much of the bag as you can. You wanna give yourself a little bit of space to like put your hand on the bag to hold it in place so it doesn't go moving about your desk. But I'm just gonna kinda do some splotches. Remember colors that are next to each other on the color wheel are going to look good together. You're not sure what that is just try it you're gonna be doing like four or five of these so like don't worry about it experiment all right when you are done you're gonna raise your hand and i'm gonna come around and i'm gonna spray your plastic bag you want to make sure it's real nice and wet then you're going to take one of your prints one of these and you're going to put it face down so you can see my name. So this is the back of my paper on the bag. Try to make it as centered as you can. You can see immediately it's going to really soak up that water. And you can use your hands to spread it all the way to the edge. And if you have some, like, see how my paper didn't cover right there? I can actually go and see, look at my print and go, oh, you know what, There's, I want some more color right there. I can take it, flip it over, and gently put it over that spot and pick up that color that wasn't picked up on the first go around. Now I can put more, ooh, I, I have some more right there. So, perfect. So we're gonna put this off to the side. You're gonna take this and put it in front of your locker in the hallway to dry, and then you're gonna repeat the process. Now, if there's a lot of color left on here and you're happy with the way your print turned out, what you can do is raise your hand again and I'll give you a little bit more of a spray. And then you can use a paper towel, which I also have, to wipe off your bag so there isn't any of the col first color or second color, whatever colors you had on your bag and then repeat the process. So pick another set of colors, try different things, try different colors. Maybe this next time I'm gonna do more warm colors, so like oranges and yellows and stuff, and experiment. 